What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today you might not have known it because, again, the game does a really horrible job at this. We have about five and a half days left of the Heroic Gauntlet for Merrily, and of course most of us have already gotten all six difficulties done. She was much easier than the walk one. However, today the challenge missions opened up and there's nothing in game to actually notify you and tell you about all these resources because, man, that is a real crapshoot that uh, if, you, if you're not paying attention, the game's literally not going to tell you. It loves putting all these new tags, exclamation marks, like this right here. We got an exclamation mark here. We got a new tag here. They don't put anything on the heroic gauntlet, and I've sent that feedback back, and hopefully they do change that in the future because now we have a chance to get 200 velvet, uh, velvet vouchers. Uh, we also have a chance to get 20 Twilight Essence if you have the heroes to make this true. So... This is going to be one of the three combo teams that you need to use. Now, Lenya is kind of the must-have out of these combos. Out of all three of these, the easiest one is going to be this one right here. And honestly, just having a Baryle at, like, I mean, just one copy is more than enough. Now, you can still use whatever you want on... Uh, these guys right here, I will highly suggest, like I said previously, use some range units that have some really good damage. You don't want heroes that are going to get up close. You want these heroes to be the ones face tanking everything here. You want to use range units, preferably single target heroes to do damage from afar. I mean, you can just use some really basic heroes that just about everybody has. Heroes like Cessia, heroes like Odie, because so long as Merrily stays away from your side of the battlefield, you shouldn't have many issues because you got Lenya and you got Brutus. Of course, Burial will probably die for the average account because he will only be a single copy. But as long as you have like three melee really up in her face, you can see here the ranged units are doing all the damage and they're not taking a single bit until Merrily runs all the way around all those melee units and finally makes it to this side of the battlefield. I don't know if necessarily that Odie Mark was working there. Uh, you can see... Lenya, of course, doing the heavy lifting, but the range unit's doing a very good job at just that. And you have to remember, you can do this very easily. Now, because we have the get all heroes very easily in this game, again, in this setup here, you should have everybody. Once again, we are still going to throw the Brutus in there too. If I can find Brutus. Brutus, where are you? There you are. Uh, and that's mainly just to take the brunt of the attacks here. Uh, we'll stick with like a physical type build here. We're going to have Lenya going in. We have some summoners. And again, we can just do the same thing we did previously. Throw in a Cessia, something like that. So this time we have the Lenya and we have the Brutus up front. We, of course, have Brian, which ours is kind of powerful. I don't have much invested to him, but he is Supreme Plus. So that does say something. And then we can have all these additional summons with heroes like Florabelle, uh, which will take some of those hits, which will keep your team alive. And I think... I think we might get a win. I don't know. We got, of course, Mr. Carlisle up. Again, the summons definitely help absorb some of those hits there. And yeah, it still turns out being a victory just using some much more traditional heroes. And then, of course, throwing in someone like Brian. Uh, he did do some decent damage there, which is cool. This team, I think, is also going to be a very simple one to do. Uh, we are going to continue to use the same Brutus strategy. <clears throat> and honestly, in this situation, we'll just throw the Lenya in again. Because if you've been using Lenya, you can continue to use Lenya. We can go with more of a physical damage dealing again. Because again, we have Soren and such. This one might actually be the easiest out of all of them. Because again, I feel like more people might have a higher leveled up Soren than they do a Baryle. I, of course, built Soren up to max the second he came out. And you see there, Brutus is taking a brunt of the hits here. Soren definitely is getting some hits as as well and you see floor belt got hit a little bit there but if we can get some of those summons out that might help keep her alive you can see the chariot took a hit right there you saw one of floor bell summons take a hit right there they're just absorbing all the hits so throwing a floor bell into this type of team honestly is one of the easiest ways to get this done because you see how much damage those floor bell summons are taking because merrily doesn't have aoe really she just single targets most enemies she occasionally does her ultimate that hits multiple and you see floor bell is by far the mvp here so make sure you guys are claiming all this loot out get all these resources this is the way to go to finish out this event and don't forget it's here you got five days left to get it done i wish they would put some sort of exclamation mark or something but there you go hopefully you guys enjoy this one get your loot and i'll see you guys next time